Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 23rd of 2022, well, it is titled the once and future stars of Andromeda. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the Andromeda galaxy, also known as M31. And it is a spiral galaxy and the nearest large spiral galaxy to our own Milky Way. And it is only about two and a half million light years away, which means that we see it not as it is today, but as it was two and a half million years ago. However, galaxies don't change much on that kind of time frame. So it's pretty safe to say that this galaxy looks roughly like what it does in this image today. But we would have to wait another two and a half million years for the light that is leaving this galaxy right now to reach us. Now this is actually going to be a combination of two images that we look at. This is the visible light image. And we can also see an infrared image that we look at. And you can see that they look quite different. And that's because different types of wavelengths of light show us different things. When we look at the visible light image, it is showing us the stars that are present right now and stars that are just in the process of forming. We see the blue light from clusters of blue stars and we see the pink hydrogen regions, which also signify star form formation, where clouds of hydrogen gas are illuminated by young stars, which have just formed, emitting a lot of ultraviolet light. Now when we look at this in the infrared, we will see where the stars are coming. And if we kind of match them, we can see that they look like they are the dusty areas. What we see as dark dusty areas in the visible light image will then appear as the brighter areas in the infrared images. These are the future stars, not the stars that are just forming right now, but the ones that are coming in the future. And that as these gas clouds and dust clouds begin to collapse, they will form new stars. So we will begin to see newer stars forming and the patterns will change. However, the time frame for this can be several million can be millions and millions of years. So it'll take a while before this actually occurs and before we and then even longer before we can actually see the results of this. But this is one of the reasons astronomers study things not just in visible light, like our original image of Andromeda that we looked at, but also look at things in things like infrared and ultraviolet and x rays, because they give us a view into things that are not emitting visible light. The dust and dust is much cooler and gives off a lot of infrared light. So while it's not visible to ordinary uh, visible light, it is vis things are visible here in the infrared that allows us to trace the very early signs of star formation in galaxies like Andromeda, which also helps us to better understand our own Milky Way galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for May 23rd of 2022. It was titled the once and future stars of Andromeda. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.